Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of Manga Talk, where I talk to you about manga that you may or may not have heard about before. And if you have, that's great. If you haven't, well, you may have may find something that uh, would be more uh, interesting for you in the future. So, uh, without further ado, I should probably get into it. But seeing that there's, I feel like it, trying to be a YouTuber and all that. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If you don't, then whatever. If you like my content, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. In today's video, though, uh, we are going to be talking about one that I actually didn't know I was going to like. I first watched the uh, anime when it came out uh, a few years ago, back when I was uh, in college and had a lot of free time to watch anime. But... Uh, that's besides the point. Uh, today, though, we are going to be talking about, uh, this baby, uh, known as Bungo Stray Dogs, I think is how you pronounce the first one, I think. Uh, Bungo Stray Dogs is a pretty interesting one, uh, and, well, I should just stop talking about it, that for right now, and let's go into the facts of it, mm-hmm. The facts of uh, this lovely story uh, and manga are that it was written by uh, Kafka Asagiri, I think. Uh, again, I'm terrible with names. Uh, <laughs> so uh, they written it, wrote it, uh, and it was illustrated by Sango Haru... I'm sorry. Okay, wait. No, wait. I got this. I got this. Harukawa, Harukawa Kara, I think is a very butchered way to pronounce that person's name. Sorry, again, uh, they illustrated it. Uh, it was in uh, Young Ace magazine, uh, and it went from uh, 2012. I couldn't get the exact like month or date that started in, but uh, 2012, and it is still going on. It is a, uh, for demographic-wise, a senin. Uh, so younger uh, adult males usually would like this. Uh, but, you know, in most situations when it's like, hey, males will like this or it will be more like females. If you like the story, you'll like it. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. But, yeah, you know, whatever. Anyways, uh, it was, uh, besides being published, it uh, culminated into a total of 19 volumes of uh, manga. Right now in the States, or wherever you have it English-wise, it is uh, only translated up to volume 15. Uh, the 16th volume, I think, is coming out in October here of uh, 2020. So if you watch this in the future, it's already out. If you... <laughs> haven't it's uh still not so uh besides that uh that means that it only covers up to chapters one through uh, 63 of the story which is a pretty interesting story and a very awesome concept to tell it with uh i can't wait to get to talking about it so let's get in the uh, story is um, the one that follows a uh, character in the beginning before it branches out to more and follows more. But the character that is followed in the beginning and a good portion of it, uh, I would guess you would call him the main character, is Atasushi. Atasushi Nakajama? Jima? Nakama? I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, but he is a 18-year-old kid at the very beginning. Uh, he runs into some people that, uh, after getting kicked out of his orphanage, and is essentially homeless, but he runs into uh, people that are part of this uh, organization called the Armed Detective Organization, and he was running away from what is known as a were-tiger. And, you know, if you know about were-tigers, they're scary. But, uh, yeah, running away from it, and he didn't know why it was chasing him, and it was a sort of the reason that he got kicked out of the orphanage that he was in, 
Granted, he was 18, it was bound to happen at some point, you're an adult at that point, no matter what country you're in. So, I'm sorry, but that's the way of life! But, uh, it eventually turns out that he was actually the were-tiger. This is not a spoiler, this happens within like the first couple of chapters, so there is that. And it gets into uh, certain parts of why I actually like this story, because of uh, character-wise, it's interesting. And the different powers that the uh, people of the armed detective agency, and then you learn about the Port Mafia, and then the Guild, and everyone that comes to me is usually uh, has an interesting power or abilities in some cases. But uh, it's it's a pretty interesting world. It's set within like a Tokyo, not Tokyo. I think it's set within Japan somewhere. It might be Tokyo. Or I might be getting that wrong. Is it Tokyo? Does it say Tokyo? Uh, I don't know. But uh, it is a uh, interesting type of deal because of the facts of the actual characters themselves. You have these characters, and as you you learn quite uh, readily what they're based off of, and it's a very interesting concept that I wish that some uh, some more people would think about sometimes it's crazy because you have these uh the characters within the story itself actually being uh based off of authors that the uh writer for it was inspired by like it, it's kind of interesting because you're just like oh okay so if you want you could if you feel uh, spicy enough to stop reading when a new character gets introduced, look them up online, find out that, oh, they've written a lot of literature. Also, they're dead. Because it's a lot of older authors. There's not too many authors that are... Uh, I don't think any of the authors that are um, have any of the characters based off of are actually alive now. They're mostly older and uh, different... Uh, characters within the actual uh, story you can it's based like it's crazy just finding out all these different authors that uh, I don't know how many of it how many of the Japanese authors that get introduced earlier on how much of their work is translated into English but if they were I probably would have I would like to read some of their work at some point but I do not have time at points. That's what it's like being an adult. Anyways, it's, uh, you, <laughs> words are family. Uh, it's very interesting because the powers are also quite unique based off of who is the person that it is based off of. And I'll get to that right about now. So you have these characters that have are based off of real world people. For instance, uh, the main character, Nakamaji, I think is how you pronounce his name. Again, sorry, it sounds great in my head, but as soon as you start gumming out the mouth, it's like, Bleh. anyways, uh, the characters are based off of famous, their, their powers are based off of famous works that they've done. So, uh, the person that I just said, I'm not going to try to pronounce their name again, uh, is based off, their powers is based off of one of the author's famous works called uh, Beast Beneath the Moonlight. And, uh, essentially, it's, uh, I, thought, I can't remember how the story goes because I've only really looked at it. I think it's about a tiger in attacking under the moonlight i could just google it but i'm not going to that would mean that i would have to do more work anyways uh so as a result his powers are kind of interesting because at the start he can only turn into uh he was only able to turn into a uh, tiger underneath moonlight and he did not know that he was a tiger for that period of time and as a result it becomes a type of deal where Throughout the story, you watch as he grows to learn his powers more and more and be able to uh, control them better. And the rest of the um, other characters that have what are known as special abilities are able to do 
the different things because of how uh, what their characters are based off of and the armed detective agency that uh, he joins essentially has all these different people that have all these different powers that are all based off of uh, Japanese uh, uh, novelist and you who it's kind of crazy and you could learn a lot of different uh like if you don't want to read manga and want to read a novel every once in a while this is a great way to be like oh i want to learn about these different uh authors and stuff that you know you are just like yeah that's kind of interesting and then also you learn about a lot of their past which i mean most authors that were back then had a pretty sad past it's sad for instance, uh, one of the uh, sad authors that used to be uh, alive and wasn't was uh, Danzai, uh, who in the uh, Bungo Stray Dogs, he's a great guy, <laughs> kind of obsessed with uh, double suicide, uh, you know, but that's based off of the personality of the actual author himself, who uh, did commit suicide when he... It's essentially his last work, which is the one that most people know him for, No Longer Human, is uh, what most people believe as his suicide letter. Uh, and as a result, his powers are kind of interesting because they can cancel out any other powers that he touches, basically making them no longer uh, have those abilities. And <laughs> one... If you actually read No Longer Human, I read it. Uh, uh, Junpei Ito uh, did uh, the manga version of it, which I'll cover at some point. But if you read that, good God, you need to listen to some like happy music. Like happy, uplifting music and then go out and hug someone. Because that story is so fucking depressing. You, God... Oh, he needed, like, some help. <laughs> but in the story, he's not that uh, that depressing. Uh, he has had his own shares of trials and tribulations, which I'm not going to get into. And that's only, like, that's only two characters that I've talked about. Their powers are interesting, and you have, uh, not to mention, you can probably figure out how their personalities work if you actually... Uh, read the character's name, go look it up, and be like, oh, this is how it's going to be. So um, it's sort of a mix between the uh, author and uh, a bit of the author's personality slightly changed so it isn't so, uh, like, ripping off a person and throwing them into a thing. Uh, and you have the actual uh, powers that are based off their famous works, which is a very seriously awesome concept to have in a story just being able to say hey this is your most famous work that you've done throw that in there bam it's like if uh i don't know uh if robert jordan were into uh in this written into this series all of a sudden he'd be able to channel like goddamn ran thor ran out thor man i ran all four there we go anyways um random topic but um yeah it would be it's interesting because you're just like oh this is how each of the uh different uh powers work how they work based off the works if you are really into literature and really into like japanese literature because that's what most of the characters have are uh written by like written to be based off of you would have an interesting way of just being like okay okay i can figure out what their powers are based off their like most famous work let's go let us write yes and that's only like the, the detective agency i'm not even getting into the poor mafia yet the poor mafia is also similar in the uh situation of um you know, the armed detective agency in which they have uh, people that are um, uh, super powered, essentially. You have the Port Mafia, which is a mafia that uh, is super underground, but everyone knows it. It's, uh, sometimes I, it's like they, you know that they're there, 
sort of along the lines of, you know that the mob is running that place down the shop, but you don't talk about the fact that the mob is running down the, the place at the shop down the road. But it's, uh, again, interesting. And also you have, it could have been uh, essentially the characters just not being, you just being caricatures of the authors that they're based off of. But at the same time, you then have a, a very interesting sort of writing style that is mixed together. And it creates these really thought out characters that because they're based off of real people, you have personalities that you can draw from that were from the author themselves and then go from there. It is absurd how much you can think about like, it's crazy. I love this one. And the art um, that uh, the uh, artist uh, Harukawa, Harukawa, I believe is how you say it, is pretty good. Like, look at this. Let's look at the cover. And then there's a pretty interesting one. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. And it's great. Like, I don't know what else to say about it. Um... Each of the uh, new characters that get brought up and you find out that they have a special ability, you're just like, okay, okay. So that author did this. Like later on, besides the Port Mafia and all of their interesting characters, you bring in the guild, which is from America, which all of a sudden I knew. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, Scott Fitzgerald? <laughs> Goddamn Great Gatsby, motherfucker? I hated that book in high school. I hated it, but I love his powers in it. It's crazy, because if you read The Great Gatsby, you could probably figure out what his powers are. And then you also have, like, other characters, like, goddamn, uh, H.P. Lovecraft uh, is a scary-ass motherfucker that you never want to deal with. In it. Like, holy shit, I'm just like, what? It's just, because you have all these characters and you keep on introducing more, and I can't even think, like... If I were to go over each of the characters, you can just, like, look up authors in the actual, like, Japanese authors or American authors. And I think now, at the point of the story, there's, like, more uh, Russian. There's, like, a Russian author and uh, European authors that are getting introduced. It is crazy, and I love it. Just, I need... <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Because you should just, like, the creativity in this is great. The powers are interesting and not really played out in most situations. Like, you have, uh, damn it, I forget his name, but one of the characters, uh, he grows stronger while he's hungry. So the hungrier he is, the stronger he is. And the doctor, I can't remember her name, but she's great for the armed detective agency. Her powers is she can heal anyone from any industry as long as they're almost dead. That's the problem. You could get healed from, like, your finger getting cut off. But as long as you're still pretty in good shape, she can't heal you. But if you're almost dead from blood, blood <coughs> sorry, <coughs> so I'll, <coughs> hairball, <coughs> as long as you're almost dead. She can heal you from any injury. That's crazy, but also very specific. It is absurd the different powers that come about based off of, one, the literary uh, inspirations and the authors that they drew from. Like, oh my God, I want more of this creativity in the industry. Because I just get tired at points just watching like the same kind of powers be replayed over and over and over again. Like a fucking printer being printing out the same shit. But it is, it's interesting because sometimes the powers are kind of similar. But the way that they are used is also kind of interesting. It's a very interesting story. And uh, full of a lot of twists and turns and how what is happening a lot of mind games and god it is awesome i love the story i can't wait until i can continue reading it uh and i would recommend this to anyone that's really into 
uh, mystery, uh, supernatural stuff, and a lot of action because there's a lot of fighting in it and a lot of character development. The characters are great. You learn how each character meshes together and the different dynamics between the different groups that pull up like the armed detective agency the port mafia the guild and the uh newest one which i can't remember but that is a little bit too far to, far ahead so i won't talk about that one because that's a little bit more spoilers it's interesting to say the least and i don't have many other like i don't really have that many complaints about it for the long and short uh, I wish that I, they would translate it a bit faster at points. As that, that's how it goes. If you're wait, you're reading it as it comes out, you're just like, I have to wait because I don't know how to speak Japanese or read Japanese. One day, one day maybe. Uh, based off of how I pronounce people's names, that may be a very long time coming. Mm. So, with all of that being said, I recommend it for anyone uh that wants it still uh that's it i can go rambling on for a longer time probably remember characters names at some point probably not because i'm terrible with names it's it's an unfortunate state of circumstances anyways uh, <laughs> i don't know why i'm terrible with names it's hard granted i don't know japanese it might be easier for people that are in different languages or maybe not everyone has probably probably troubles with names i'm rambling again woo anyways um if you like the video uh please think about leaving a like if you uh like this content like i said like it if you disliked it uh hit that thumbs down it doesn't really matter uh it shows whether or not i'm doing a good job or not uh, if you uh, want to comment about the uh, actual manga itself, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I will respond if I see it in a relatively alright time. I have trouble typing at points. <laughs> uh, then, uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, if you like the my content, think about subscribing. Uh, if you liked... Uh, to keep up to date hit that notification bell uh so you can keep up to date with uh more videos that are coming out in the future uh if you liked this type of video i will leave a playlist down in the description for more of that uh i think that's it so yeah this has been manga talk i have been the bearded otaku and i hope you have a very lovely day thank you goodbye i said good Bye. Goodbye, people. I said goodbye.